Hi there, in this video I just want to show you how you can work with uh, or get pointiness into Eevee. Uh, you know, there's uh, this um, object info node in the shader editor that we can uh, get pointiness information from uh, so that we can detect edges and use that as a mask to determine uh, what material goes where on our cube or our object, I should say. But I, I will use cube in this case since it's uh, simple geometry and we're just here to uh, see how the workflow can look. So let's, uh, I'm just, uh, we're gonna need a lot of geometry. So I'm tabbing into edit mode here and subdivide this cube, something like, uh, let's subdivide like this a couple of times. And then I'm also gonna add a um, solid uh, subdivision surface modifier. You can do that with control and one or two uh, for the given level there as well. So, and then just shade smooth, so that this looks like a cool little cube. Never seen that before, huh? So, then we're gonna go into Cycles, uh, render engine here in the Properties panel. And uh, I'm gonna move over to GPU Computer just because it's so fun. Um, I'm gonna go over to the Shading tab here, so that we get um, the node down here and everything that we need. Just gonna collapse a few um, sections there. So we're gonna create a new material here, and I'm gonna see if we can get some pointiness going. So I'm gonna shift A and just object. So add object info node in here. Uh, oh, let's see. Sorry, I'm talking about the object info node. We should have the geometry node. That's what we should have, and the pointiness attribute down here. So shift A and then we're going to need a color ramp because this information right now is put out into base color there and go to rendered view. It's going to take me just a little bit to get into render view here just because I'm on uh, AMD cards and they need to kind of compute this stuff here. Let's see, I don't, I don't see us getting any information in here. So I'm just going to take a color ramp, shift A, and I'm just going to type color ramp here, add that. And then we're going to collapse the blacks and the whites here so that we can um, get a hint of, let's see here, we get the, there we go. You see that they need to come very close here so that we can really uh, pinpoint the, uh, the corners here. So this is what the pointiness does, it just separates angles from flat surfaces. So we can get this and then we could use this together with our mask to create a more elaborate uh, edge wear or something like this. But right now we're just interested in the simplest form of how we can uh, pull out the pointiness information and bring that over to Eevee. So this is actually quite enough. And with the node wrangle add-on, um, I'm jumping a bit here, just going to edit mode, or sorry, to edit preferences. And here in the um, add-ons tab, we type wrangler and we have that enabled. I would guess that most, most uh, artists use that with Blender. So just enable that. And then with this color ramp, gonna hold control shift and left click and that will create this it will bypass this principal shader and it will create this viewer node and this is really just an emission shader um, just shift a search emission shader this is the, the same thing so we could plug this here and we will get the same result so but just since um, the uh, node wrangle add-on has this nice feature so that we don't have to go through all that jazz and add that. Uh, sorry, I'm looking through the alpha there. So is that we use this? Doesn't matter which, but that's what I'm gonna use. Next, we're gonna need uh, a UV map for this. So let's look at how that can look. So I'm gonna change this window here. This is an image editor right now, and they were split in 2.8 and beyond. Before we only had an image editor and a UV ed uh, editor in the same kind of editor, but now they are two separate editors. So I'm going to look here and see that this will probably do as our map for now. So I'll just go with that. I will create an image that we can bake to, uh, bake our pointiness information so that we can then use that in Eevee. 
So I'm gonna hit new and uh, pull in a 2048 by 2048 for this and just call it uh, pointiness bake perhaps. Bake, there we go. Alpha, yeah, whatever. Oh, actually, let's remove the alpha. There we go. So now we're just gonna need here an image texture and we're gonna this node and it, it shouldn't be connected to anything and since we don't have anything connected to the vector slot here it should by default use the default UV map of this object which you can view here in the data tab UV maps and this is the UV map corresponding to this UV map right here so you're just gonna select that point in this bake that we just named created a name there and just have it selected and nothing else really Gonna tab out the object mode in this um, 3d view here and then for our um, render properties here we'll go down to bake and we'll just bake the emit pass and why do we bake the emit pass well it's because we use an emission shader here so this is actually light information but when the strength here is set to one that's gonna work quite well and we're gonna get get correct values uh, out of this uh, map here so we are not baking uh, selected active we're just baking this shader into our selected uh, image texture here so we actually don't need to do much more we could clear the image if we want to uh, we don't have to we can just leave it as it is margin assisting that's just fine just emit and perhaps don't clear the image um, yeah so let's uh, let's try to just bake this and see what we get you see it shouldn't take that long but now I I suppose I choose a 2048 uh, by 2048 map so it might take a little while for that to um, to get through but uh, I'll post the video and uh, we'll resume once this is done so there we go it took you uh, maybe one or two minutes. I think we can reduce that time by just uh, decreasing the render samples since we're only rendering an emission shader. Uh, we don't need very many samples for that. You could bring it down to like eight samples or something. Also in the performance tab here, I could have changed my tile size to a higher value like 256 by 256 to uh, increase that render time or rather decrease that render, render time and improve it. So let's now jump into Eevee here, just switch over there. And then we can just um, look at this map here and we should get uh, kind of the same result. You can see that we don't get anything through our geometry pointness here, but once we throw in this uh, image here that we baked, uh, we can actually use that and uh, we get the same results as we have in, um, in uh, cycles. However, we do need to keep in mind that this is actually an image texture and this is now pixel based rather than the uh, this pointness which is uh, vector based and uh, we could zoom this to infinity if you will while the uh, the map here in the image uh, will become pixelated as we zoom in further and further. So uh, something to keep in mind that you keep that uh, resolution as high as you need or as, as low as you need. It's always a um quality versus performance uh, battle there so let's just uh, see make sure that we see that this can work so we just take the mix rgb here and we select uh, like a red color and perhaps a blue color and we plug this into the uh, factor here take this to the base color in the principal shader and we plug this straight into the um, principal bsdf there so that is um kind of what we get and uh, we could have um, worked this these two nodes basically represent this mask here that we created and we can combine these with all sorts of other uh, textures like noise textures and masquerade textures to create a, a really intricate uh, mask here for our corners and uh, edges so that we can really create something that looks real and uh, that can represent some wear and tear but that is how you can get your 
pointers into Eevee and I uh, hope you found it uh, useful and informative and uh, thanks for viewing. Also don't forget to like and subscribe if you're into that kind of things. Okay, bye.